right, coming up next, it is a welterweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Kamaru Usman. See, here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that hard work, all the results will show, and they have with Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now and in those fights why he's one of the best fighters in the world's weight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, my fight. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have the fighter who does everything well, taking on a I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start. Think about strikes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the champion. 
lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again. This Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. And they separate. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looks like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness, moved the head back inside, turned that double into a single, sprawled, and got away from his opponent. Great job. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Yeah, left hook found its target. Table of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, nice. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you gotta defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Final seconds here. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go with round two. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. He loaded up there on that high kick. And with authority, goes to the judo throw. 
right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Back to his feet. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Take down, no problem. And they separate. Oh, nice punch there. They all shoot right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Usman's got him in a crucifix, gonna work from the top now. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Oh. Oh, you gotta keep your hands up for me now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Solid strike on the ground. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Lee's eye is starting to swell shut. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight.
All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Punches is punches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. A oh, little single collar tie there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand upstairs. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, power time. Usman gets in the clinch yet again. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice right hand. Got the single collar tie. Oh, big left hand there. Usman gets in the clinch yet again. Right hand upstairs. Big head kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! Oh! Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Usman gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Straight right hand now just misses. Single collar tie now. Oh! Hey, there is he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big kick lands. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And they separate. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like a landing. Right on that. Right on the cut. And he's targeting it, right? Massive take down the tip lane. Seconds now to go in the round. Come on, bro. Keep those hands up for me. Fifteen. 
15 seconds to go. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Usman. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked I'm about ready. his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He... And really nice job to finish the takedown there. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter who's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Yeah, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. What a punch. a single collar tie. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land this strike. Man, he is sniffing out these takedowns from a mile away, stuffed another shot there. And they separate. Oh man, that eye looks so swollen now, you've got to wonder whether or not that might be a fractured orbital. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Three minutes to go. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in spikes. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Oh, clean entry as he gets the takedown there. Great entry, great timing, great finish. What a fantastic job by this young man. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Usman really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You gotta hit the skate. You gotta do something to get out of harm's way. You have to move. You have to be doing something. Usman's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. Knows how to control the hips. He doesn't give you any outs when he's on top of you. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there absolutely. <laughs> 90 seconds now to go in this one. Down strike on the ground. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job.
All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. Seconds to go. 30 more seconds. We can do it. Let's go. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Fifteen seconds. Sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. The swelling on the fighter's eye is getting out of control at this point in time. Maybe they bring in the doctor to see if his vision has been impaired. It has certainly been compromised to some extent here. But again, he has had no answer for the offense coming back tonight. And as such, that eye is nearly swollen shut. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the field. He landed in perfectly, perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Punch over the top. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one. Oh, that was easy. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. And he landed the right hand there. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. I need you to hold. Scramble. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Let's go. Get him off. Under three minutes now to go round five. Outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Usman. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an out? You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. And they separate. Lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. 
liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Right punch is good, the left also flush. Oh, a huge block there. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process. I wow, actually got the takedown. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch it go parallel right there. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. 30 seconds remain in the round. Usman's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Nice straight punch. Very tricky to not throw that body kick. Goes to the body there. Back and forth we go. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Well, don't leave it in the judges' hands. A little bit easier said than done. Competitive, close fight. You gotta lean either way. I mean, it is horrible when you walk back to the center of the octagon not knowing exactly who won the fight. I thought he won a lot of the striking exchanges, but it wasn't very clear. So it'll be interesting to see who gets the decision. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we're going to the judges work hard for a decision. For the winner by split decision, Bruce the Dragon wins! Wow, so there he is, your winner by the narrowest of margins. Only three scorecards in the world matter. Two of them thought he would. I mean, you could tell that he wasn't sure he had got enough done to win the fight. He gets the decision. It was a very close fight, and it's well earned.